Okay, what's going on YouTube today? I'm gonna show you guys how to um, add games to your retro eight launcher. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up the app, and then let's go ahead and hit systems. Now, from this point, you just, it's pretty obvious, right? Where you go ahead and hit the system that you want to add on here. So I'm gonna go with Game Boy Advance, N64, Super Nintendo, GameCube, Nintendo DS, um, PSP. PS1, pretty much just adding all the games that I that I know I have and, I, and that I play, all of my favorites. So, um, I'm gonna add 32x on there, just in case. And I think that's it. All right, so from there, I'm gonna hit OK, and then boom. So now I have all of my systems that I want to at least play. So from there, you have to go in there and manually add all the games. So. I'm going to go ahead and start with Game Boy Advance, click that, then I'm going to hit ROMs, and then you have to set the path. So to do that, obviously you hit add, and then so wherever those games are, that's pretty much where you want to um, direct that folder to. So for me, it's on my SD card. And then boom, it's labeled GBA, hit select, boom, and then have it scan. And as you can see, it just loads everything up. All right, so everything was already on my SD card, including the photos. So um, we're good on that area. And you're just gonna do the same thing for every system. So now we're in Nintendo 64, we're gonna hit add. Um, internal storage. I know I have them on both my SD card and on the internal because I just ran out of space. Like I really went through, um, I just have that many games. So. Let's try. It might be in the download folder. Yeah, N64. Hit select. And then I'm gonna add one more folder on the SD card. Scroll down. N64. Select again. Boom. Then have it scan. That's a pretty quick process. Um, it probably shouldn't take no more than maybe like five to ten minutes max if you know what you're doing. And if everything is just kind of organized, mine is organized because I've had to do this multiple times with this RG3. I mean, RG3, I'm tripping. <laughs> with, I've had to do this multiple times with the uh, Retro Pocket 3 Plus because honestly, I don't know. I don't know if it's like a system thing or if it's like I got it's a storage problem. I'm actually not 100% sure, but every so often I would need to clear the storage and clear the cache on the app because all my games just disappear. Thankfully, all your save states and everything is still, it's gonna, it's gonna save, but it's just having to go through this every single time is kind of annoying. Well, every so often. My bad, I had to click out because I really forgot what games I was about to add on here. That's for the most part. That's how you load up you guys' games, all that good stuff. Um, hopefully you guys like the video. Hopefully you guys learned some things. A quick bonus. How to get the cool backgrounds and everything like this. What you wanna do is you wanna go to, um, you wanna download the app called TikTok Video Wallpaper. And then you're gonna open TikTok to set your wallpaper and you're just pretty much gonna find what you like. All right, see you guys next video.